Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today we're reacting to something different. We're reacting to iPhone 12 Pro uh, reveal trailer. Let's check it out. Uh, I've seen a lot of backlash about iPhone 12s and stuff. I really, di I didn't really, you know, see the specs or the reveal or anything like that. So this is all going to be new to me. Let's check it out. Let's see what Apple did. I'm not really a fan of uh, iPhones that much. I was always an Android user. I used OnePlus phones. I don't know if you guys uh, are Apple fanboys or you just use their products. Do you like their products? Let me know in the comments below what you think about the iPhone 12. And uh, let's get into the video. Let's go. A singular new design, a re-engineered chip, and 5G. This is iPhone 12 Pro. Okay, so new chip, 5G. The vertical band is precision machined from stainless steel. The ceramic shield on the front is tougher than any smartphone glass. So you can crack. And tighter borders allow for... So even... apparently with this new, they, they have a new glass. I'm guessing this one is going to be tougher to crack because... You guys know if you ever own an iPhone, and I know my friend, a lot of my friends have. If that phone drops, if you drop that phone once, it's it's gone, it's done. Like your 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 screen is cracked, everything's cracked. You you can't just use it anymore. You have to get a new new screen or a new LCD or something. It, it's gone. So any smartphone glass. We'll see. And tighter borders allow for even larger Super Retina XDR displays. Okay. 5. 5G wireless plan and coverage required. Speeds will be very obviously. Okay. 5G is set to change the world with radically faster speeds. The hardware and software have been optimized for the best. Apparently, 5G is uh, like fiber. Like it downloads at around thousand thousand. I think. Um, I'm not really sure why they're making 5G a big deal over here. 5G has been a thing for quite a long time now, like over a year now. I don't know. Let's go. 5G experience. A14 Bionic has a smaller 5 nanometer transistor, which pushes okay. the most powerful chip in the smartphone generations ahead. So more GP, more CPU, okay. A new and improved pro camera system. Makes Let's see the what they have. So telephoto, 52 millimeters, wide 26 millimeters. F1.6, that's not bad at all. 13 millimeters, night mode. Apparently there's more light over here. Seven element lens, okay. So they all have stabilization, I'm pretty sure. 12 Pro, the photographer's iPhone. Photographer's the iPhone. iPhone 12 Pro Max takes these innovations. Even oh, there's an iPhone. Ma oh, okay, okay. So five times optical zoom range. Uh, 80, 87 percent more light. Sensor shift I uh, O I S in a night mode. Further, its bigger sensor dramatically increases the detail capture and helps improve low light performance. I mean, let's be real. iPhone was always uh known for having the best cameras out there. So this phone will definitely have one of the best cameras. No doubt about that, but anything else and everything else, we'll see right now, let's go. By 87%. That's not a bad photo at all. Ooh. The custom designed LiDAR scanner puts advanced depth mapping technology in your what pocket. What is that? You can now take a night mode portrait and unlock a new world of possibilities for augmented reality. What? iPhone 12 Pro smashes the benchmark for highest quality video in a smartphone. That shot an iPhone? That's freaking out. Wow, you can put it in a drone? Piece of equipment. It is the world's first device able to capture, playback, and edit 10 bit HDR footage with Dolby Vision. Okay, iPhone 12 That's Pro comes in two sizes. Not bad at all. 6.7 inch. That is huge, by the way. That is absolutely huge. That's massive. And then 6.1 on the smaller one models, including new Pacific Blue. Oh, I love the Pacific Blue. Oh, I definitely like the Pacific Blue right here. This looks like a nice color. I, I mean, I'm always like a black person. I like the, the minimalistic style, but this one pretty good. An integral part of this year's design is MagSafe, an intelligent system of magnets that connect accessories in a whole new way. Ooh. Okay. All this. I mean, and more make iPhone 12 Pro the most powerful iPhone ever. I mean, obviously, every every new phone is the most powerful phone. You know that that like when it gets released, that's how it is. From that brand, I mean. 
Available in November. Accessories sold separately. iPhone 12 has not authorized. It's required by the rules. Something, something. Not and may not be offered for sale. Something, something. Okay, nothing important. Um, okay. I mean, this video looks good. The, the phone looks good. I was never really a, an Apple fanboy or anything. It looks nice. The cameras are always good. That's you, you, no doubt about that. Um, the only thing that I've seen on social media when this uh, got released and all on the review, review and everything, um, apparently this charger is sold separately. So you have to buy yourself a charger if you want to use this phone. Like they did that to like prevent waste, and uh, you know they said most of the Apple users already own the chargers and stuff. But like, let's be real. What if I have the what if I want to buy this iPhone and never owned an iPhone before? I have to buy a charger separately, so I cannot even charge my phone. Like, I just get a cable and that's it. Like, that's the dumbest thing ever. I don't know. Um, the, that's the only thing I don't like. I mean, they're selling everything separately so they can make more money. Apple is known for, for doing that for a long time now. Um, the video is good. I like the phone. I like the new colors. The new cameras are sick. Uh, everything else is good. They're making a, such a big deal for 5G, even though like Samsung and all the other phones have have had 5G for such a long time. I don't know. Um, I think this phone is a, set to $1,000, which is a lot of money. And yeah, I don't know. I don't really think it's worth $1,000. I wouldn't pay $1,000 for that, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. Would you pay $1,000 for this phone? If you think it's nice, would you buy it? And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to Drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for the future notifi notification. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.